Hello, Boise State students. I am on your screen to talk to you today about the Secondary Transition and Reverse Service Learning Project, uh, what we like to call the STARS Project. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, the STARS Project was started by Dr. Jeremy W. Ford, you know, the taller of the two male professors in the Department of Early and Special Education, um, and Dr. Lisa Beamer, who's your instructor. Um, it's this really awesome project where we get students from local transition programs, so 18 to 21 programs for students with disabilities, um, and they get to come and sit in on 250 and get to experience what it's like to be in a college classroom. I got to work on this project all last year as a graduate assistant, and I'm super excited to work on this project again as a graduate student as part of my independent study. Um, so that's why I'm on your screens talking to you about it today because you'll be working a lot with me if you choose to participate as a mentor or what we like to call ally in this project. Um, so students from transition programs are going to be coming into our your course at ESP 250 um, and these students are really just going to see you know what it's like to work in a college classroom they're going to have coursework to do um, graphic organizers to fill out so they're learning along the class with you and all of you are a part of the project because you're in this class with them as well so congratulations you just became part of the stars project um, but you can play an even more specific and even more impactful role in this project by being a mentor or what we like to call ally. And what an ally does is you're really just promising to be that awesome friend or awesome study buddy um, to that student, to our guest students that are participating in STARS um, every day before class. So you guys have class on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, and a half hour before class you will meet with the students coming in from their transition programs and you'll just get to hang out with them and get to become their friend. Think about that person in your class who keeps you on track keeps you motivated um, and focused, you get to be that person to them, um, to someone who maybe wants to see if college is the right fit for them, um, who wants to maybe is even interested in this line of work, um, you get to be that person to them. And so a half hour before class, you would meet with our students that are coming in and usually we'd meet in the ILC. Um, you could walk around campus, this semester, these their students are going to have readings to do before they're coming to class, just like you all. So maybe if they have questions about the reading or if you want to talk to them about the content for that week, you guys can have that study session. Um, just like you'll have assignments, they'll have assignments. And so maybe if they need help with it, they can chat with you about it. Um, just really being that great ally, that person who promises to be there for them. Um, we are going to have students from the Boise Transition Program, it's called STEP, as well as the CUNA Transition Program. This will be our second semester with um, having students from CUNA with us. So there'll be at most 10 students, so five from each at most. Um, so we're looking for 10 awesome allies or mentors who want to really just make a new friend. And it's not just benefiting them, it's benefiting you as well as an educator, as a future educator. Um, or maybe you're a social worker, this, you're not an education major, maybe you're going to be a social worker or a psychologist. Um, this can benefit you as well. It's really just helping you understand even further and deeper disability as a type of diversity. Um, a diversity in the classroom, a diversity in our community. Um, we all have a story, and so you're really just learning another person's story. Um, not to talk about the like official side of it, but it, you're applying into the teacher education program and you are starting interviews for the teacher education program. This would be a great experience for you if you have never really had a relationship or worked with individuals with disabilities, um, or even if you have, to have a different kind of relationship or experience. So it truly is gonna benefit you as an educator, as a professional, and as a human being. <laughs> like I said, I did this all last year and it was my favorite thing I got to do every Tuesday, Thursday, was meeting up with the mentors, um, you guys from 250, and meeting up with our students 
from the transition programs. It was the best thing ever. And to see the relationships that grow and develop is a truly awesome thing to be a part of. Um, so if you're interested in the STARS project, it's really not going to start until September 10th is when we're hoping to get um, our students on campus. So you have a little bit of time to think about it. I believe you're going to get one week to think about if you want to become um, a mentor. But talk about it. Talk about it with Lisa. Talk about it with Dr. Ford. He'll be popping in from time to time. Um, or talk about it with me. I'll have my contact info for Lisa if you would like to contact me about it. Um, but we can, any of us can really answer all your questions and I'll be your contact, your major contact as well as Dr. Ford um, for this project as well. So in the next video, um, I'm going to discuss a little bit more about the research side of things, but this was just my chance to let you know what STARS is, why it's awesome, and why it's a great thing for you to be a part of. Thanks.